Okay, thanks for clicking on this video. This is Aaron Parker, Parker's Safes and Vaults in Shelbyville, Tennessee. I want to talk about a Grafunder 6040 Bishop series today. The Bishop is their beginning model. Um, they have three other models after that, the Castle, the Emperor, and the Fortress. But this is where they start here is with the Bishop. This one is textured granite with black chrome hardware and a black gloss insert. This one has a mechanical lock on it. You can also get them with an electronic lock and a group one lock. But we've done some videos of the Grafunders here in the past, but uh, never really gotten into some of the finer points. So first thing I wanted to show you was the, uh, the door edge here. So the door edge is actually beveled. And this is a half inch plate of steel here. But if you look at that bevel on there, the reason they do that is because as the door meets up with the frame, see if I can get a good camera angle on that, but they bevel that so that it doesn't interfere, so it doesn't hit first right there. So if it was just square, it would probably just hit right there, but it's beveled all the way around, so it allows it to seat up because that door gap is so small that um, it just has to be beveled or it wouldn't clear. So once these are locked up, they're about like a steel cube. You can't hardly even see the gap from different angles. And the gap is so small that uh, you can barely get the edge of a dollar bill into it. This safe has the number six combo, the interior package number six combo. And what that does is it just gives you some more options with gun storage. So like you could take this one clear out and replace it with this one. This is more of a collector series um, divider where you can take that completely out and just have side shelves on the right. You could also take one of the shelves out and put it down here, rest the butt of your weapons there, and then you'd still have a cubby underneath. In this white box here is a change key for your lock and then some touch-up paint. They all come with that. Your change key hole is right here. You'd have to remove this little cover plate and then take a set screw out of there in order to access that hole, but you can change your own locks. And then up here, this is, a, uh, this is not a locking bolt, but this is a relocking bolt. So your locking bolts are over here on the door edge. And those would extend and retract when you, when you roll the handle. Okay, they're also back here on the hinge side of the door. But this, this relocking bolt here is associated with the hard plate around the lock. So the lock is completely shrouded in hard plate. In some areas, it's an inch and a half thick. So it would be almost impossible to drill through. You can also order these with deflector plates and different things like that, that, that if, um, you know, if, if a, even a professional, was try, a professional was trying to drill through this uh, from the side, it would hit that deflector plate and not be able to get into the lock body itself. But the way the, way the standard ones are, they're just shrouded in, in heavy-duty hard plate. And what this, so if that hard plate is tampered with or removed, then it'll fire this relocker up here. Also, the connector for the cable for all that is a piece of metal that will melt at, uh, it's like soldered together and it'll melt uh, at about 360 degrees. So that would fire that relocker if someone were trying to get in with a, uh, with a torch or something like that. So this is a cross section of this safe and this is... Um, this would be looking at the door from the top down on the corner. This would be a half inch plate and then a three quarter inch piece here. That's where your locking bolts extend behind is that solid three quarter inch plate. Then you've got an 11 gauge body here. It's 10 gauge on the taller safes, but this one is 60 inches tall. So you get an, um, an 11 gauge uh, liner here. And then an inch and a half of concrete there or proprietary. It's almost, it sets up like concrete. It's not actually concrete. But your fire rating with that is 1,750 degrees for uh, one hour. And then a quarter inch body. But that's it. That's a Grafunder. I think that's everything I want to talk about. Uh, that's a Grafunder 6040 Bishop series. And this is where they start. Not sure if I covered that, but the, they start with the bishop. They go to the castle and then the emperor and the fortress. And to give you an idea, the bishop 
series door is a half inch. The Emperor and the Fortress are an uh, inch and a half doors, solid plate. So hey, thanks for having a look. If you like this video, please hit like. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, that'd be awesome. And uh, if you have any comments, just leave them below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you very much.